Hi, my name is Dave. Today I'd like to talk to you about the best beginner binoculars for astronomy. Uh, and the first thing I want to do is tell you what to avoid. Do not buy anything with high power. Don't buy anything with, I see a lot of things on Amazon, 20 power, 18 power, 32 power, horrible. You, you don't want to buy anything with a power that's greater than 10. The first number in the binoculars is the power, the magnification. Don't buy anything with a number greater than 10 there. Uh, 7, 8 is fine, but don't buy anything with a 12 or 14 or 15. You can't handhold those binoculars. When you're looking with your binoculars up at the sky and you're trying to look at something, if you're holding them with your hands, you, any kind of shake that you have with your hands will be introduced to the binoculars and everything becomes very blurry and shaky and un, unusable. Uh, so, 10 is the maximum power for handheld binoculars. If you're going to use them on a tripod, that's a different story, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about something simple you can carry around easily, conveniently, and use with your hands, just for a, a quick look. So, 10 is the maximum power. The aperture should also not be too small. The second number in binoculars is the aperture in millimeters. And most binoculars that you will see that I'm going to recommend are going to have 50, maybe 40, maybe 35 millimeters for that number. You don't want to get anything too small. See these binoculars? That aperture is too small. These are too tiny for astronomy. You don't want to use anything like that. So avoid the high powers. Avoid the um, small aperture. And also, I want you to avoid the straight through things, because in the bargain binoculars, you're not going to be able to see anything decent. Uh, less than $200, 300 in a, uh, these are called roof prism binoculars. You don't want those kind in the bargain binoculars. They're not going to be any, any good, really. Uh, so you want the, the kind with the poro prisms, the zigzag formation, something like that. I've got a whole listing in the description of different binoculars in different price ranges uh, up to about $200. You're pretty much going to get what you pay for. If you buy the cheapest one, the real cheap Harbor Freight binoculars, well, those are almost <laughs> single-use binoculars. Use them once and you've gotten your money's worth. You've got your $20 worth out of those binoculars. Um, and I love Harbor Freight for that reason. You can get them... Anything you get past the first use is gravy <laughs> for that. If you want to go uh, something a little bit better, you're pretty much gonna you're gonna get what you pay for. I have some Nikon's that I recommend that are still under two hundred dollars that are are quite good. But you've got uh, I've got a whole range of different things that I could recommend to you. Ten X five O ten by fifty is what you want. No zoom binoculars. Don't buy anything that says seven to thirty or Anything with a dash in there, you don't want any of that nonsense. You don't want any zoom binoculars. Uh, you want them to be fixed powers. I hope this little video has been helpful to you in selecting your binoculars for astronomy. Thank you for watching.